All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna film a what I eat in a day vlog. And you guys know I usually like to start my vlogs off with a very Casey Neistat inspired cinematic montage. Couldn't think of that word for a second there. And today I'm going to. I'm definitely going to because I'm here at the park and it's beautiful, but I have something in my backpack that's going to make my usual montage b-roll footage even more exciting. And I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm super stoked for this. So as you guys have probably learned by now, I love taking like B-roll footage of like water, waterfalls, nature. That's like some of my favorite stuff to incorporate into videos. That's why you guys often see it. And I know that you guys like it too because you definitely comment down below and I do live in like a really beautiful place. So it's really cool to be able to showcase it to so many people like you guys. So I was sent something by somebody who wishes to remain anonymous and thank you again for sending me this amazing gift that is gonna up my game so much and inspire me to get out there and showing you guys like this beautiful place where I live and just making like more interesting videos to help spread the message and make even better content. Ah, bag within a bag. So I was sent a drone. It's a DJI Spark. It wasn't DJI that sent it to me, it was a viewer. And uh, incredibly thoughtful and generous gift. I never expected to get anything quite this amazing. So I've taken it out a couple times already just to get used to flying it so I don't like fly it into a tree or fly it into the ocean or whatever first time I bring it out and show you guys. Although that would probably make a video with more views than this is going to, but hopefully this is a successful flight. Uh, so yeah, it's really unbelievable. Came with a couple batteries and like a controller, so I'll get it set up and show you guys. So yeah, you can see it's super easy to fly. All right, let's take it up, see if we can see the ocean from here, and then uh, maybe I'll get some more footage, put together a quick montage, go work out. Then I'm gonna go home, make a smoothie bowl, and then I have some things to show you guys. This is exciting. This is a good little vlog, I think, today. All right, let's fly this. There we go, it's way up there. Wow. It's cool, see that right there? That's a little mountain that I'm always climbing up that you guys see. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, so how fun is that? That is so cool. I'm tempted to go fly it like elsewhere in the park and get some cool footage, but I gotta go work out. It's so late in the day already. I don't know what I'm doing here with my life. All right, just a bit more. Let's do it. <laughs> So I figure I'll quit while I'm ahead. I got pretty close to the trees there. <laughs> I didn't like it. Definitely a bit of a learning curve, learning how to fly this thing. All right, I gotta get to the gym and work out, get home, and make a smoothie bowl. So hungry already. <laughs> I'm just filming like a, what I eat in a day vlog. I don't know, we're just having fun. I, I'll call you. No, I'm, I should be good. I'm just gonna have a workout. I'm just eating some raisins. Thanks for the call. So I'm just having a quick pre-workout snack of raisins. You guys know I usually like to work out fasted, but it's so late in the day because I got a bit of a late start. I had some stuff to do this morning and then flying the drone and just dilly-dallying around the park. Dilly-dallying, I never say that word. <laughs> but because it's so late in the day already, I know that if I work out fasted at this point, I won't have like the best workout. I know that if I have some easily digestible sugars from fruit, like dates or raisins in this case, that I'll have a much better workout. So I'm just gonna enjoy some of these and then hit in there, smash this workout, and then get home, make a big smoothie bowl, throw some of those raisins in as well. And then, uh, I don't know, just hang out with you guys some more and show you what else I eat today. I feel like as a kid, I didn't appreciate raisins as much as I should. It was always like what you didn't want to get I don't know, in your lunchbox or when you got like Halloween treats or whatever. But man, as an adult, like raisins are one of my favorite things now. They're so good. 
You know you're a vegan foodie when. All right, workout hats on. Let's hit it, guys. Workout's over. Let's get home, make a smoothie bowl. <sighs> Can't even talk. All right, just got back from my workout and I am hungry. So it's time to make that smoothie bowl. You guys know this recipe by now, I'm sure. But for you guys that don't, I'll show you everything that I'm gonna put in there. So it's all going in the trusty Vitamix. We've got one and a half or so frozen bananas, one big pitted medjool date. Usually I'd put two in there, maybe three, but because I'm gonna have a whole bunch of raisins, on top of the smoothie bowl, I'm only gonna put in one date. Then I've got some ground flaxseed. If I'm making a smoothie, I'll just put the flaxseed in whole because usually like it'll blend up with the smoothie. But when I'm making a smoothie bowl, I find that the blender doesn't get going fast enough to like break up the flax seeds. So I'm throwing some pre-ground flaxseed in here. I just ground it up. Some ground turmeric. This is great for helping to control inflammation. It's also a really strong anti-cancer. But what you want to have with it is, you guys know what I'm gonna put in there already, I know that, some black pepper. This helps your body to absorb the curcumin that's in turmeric, which helps with the inflammation. Black pepper actually slows your liver's metabolism of curcumin, the active ingredient that's in turmeric, so that it can actually like circle around your body. It's really quickly processed by your liver, so that's why you always wanna have it with black pepper. It's kinda cool, I thought that was a neat fact. I'm gonna throw some ground cinnamon in as well. I just, I've been loving this in my smoothies lately. Oops. A bunch of frozen blueberries. Probably a cup and a half or so of those. And a scoop of Vivo Life's Perform protein powder. This is a salted maca flavor. It is so, so good. My favorite protein powder I've ever tasted. You guys know I work with them. I have a discount code, it's Derek10. If you want 10% off, there's a link in the description down below. And then I'm gonna put some almond milk in there. You could use water as well to get it going, but you just need a bit of liquid at least to help the blender a little bit. Ooh, and greens, almost forgot. And a big handful or two of baby kale. Now we just gotta blend it up. Hard to figure it out backwards. There we go. So good every time. So there's the finished smoothie bowl. It'd be nice if I had some like bright colored berries <laughs> to throw on the top, but I don't. It tastes awesome. Looks pretty murky. But it tastes amazing and it's good for you. So I'm gonna go eat this and probably let Crystal have a little bit. And then I have a few things to open actually that you guys have sent me. Crystal said there's something in there that I can use for dinner, but I haven't seen it yet. She's been like screening the packages, whatever. We'll talk about it later. I not. Do you wanna try? Babe, do you have to ask? <laughs> so if you guys don't know, I should introduce Crystal, but you guys probably know her. She's my girlfriend, my partner, my life partner, my lover. Smoothie stealer. My smoothie stealer, my, all my food Gain stealer. Gain stealer, basically. Always stealing my gains. A partner in crime. Who says that though? I I never I would never refer to you as my partner in crime. I know we're like, very we're, wholesome. Yeah, we're not committing any crimes together. Do you want me to show you the stuff that someone sent you for dinner? Yes. And while Derek's getting the rest of the stuff, I'm just gonna have a little bit more smoothie. Mmm. Baby, like making love so with it in front of the camera. I know. Look at our teeth though. Every time we have like a blueberry smoothie oh, yeah. bowl. It looks like we've been drinking red wine. Looks like we've been having so much fun. Or it also makes my lips really blue. So it looks like I'm just like frostbitten. No, wait. Ah, it's so cool. <laughs> mm. Can okay. I just point out? What? 
that you you claim to like screen the packages, but in actuality, you just can't leave a box like closed knowing that there's stuff in it. I don't screen them. I just <laughs> look. But you take so long to open stuff. Because I have it programmed into the videos. So this is from Luca, and he sent us Bulgur, which we're gonna um, nice. we're gonna use for dinner tonight. So that's gonna be exciting. We've Let me see what it I don't looks think like. we've ever actually had Bulgur. Wow, it's like a cracked wheat, it looks like. I think that's what it is. Cool. Yeah. It's Thanks, from Luca. Luxembourg. So thank you so much, Luca. We're gonna make that for dinner. And then I left this in the box. Mm. But this came for you as well. Yeah. Thanks guys for sending this. We have a P.O. box if you guys are like, what the heck is all this stuff? We have a P.O. box <laughs> just down below. Because everyone was asking us, like, Derek, what's your address? Where can we send you stuff? So we got that and we got some more. We got some more. We got Bulgur. We got a bunch of stuff. And this is from Chad. Oh, wow. Ooh. We've got a little... Aardvark Hot Sauce Club. Welcome to the Aardvark Hot Sauce Club. That's a hard word to say, Aardvark. Oh, you love hot sauce. This is I exciting. I do love hot sauce. This is very cool. Some new Thank hot you. sauce from to try. From Chad. Chad. Thanks so much, homie. We'll have it with the bulgur. So there's a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff here, right? He has a couple. Chad has a couple questions. How often do you do yoga with Crystal? Once. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, it's something I'd like to do You're more. You're getting but... better at stretching at home. Yeah. Stretching at home. There are little steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Do you use any muscle rehab? Ice bath, Epsom salts, Arnica gel, etc.? No, just brute willpower, of course. <laughs> Dietary things to help like control inflammation and eating clean and make sure I'm staying hydrated and then stretching. Yeah. Um, any secret wrist yeah. and ankle rehab strength exercises? Uh, there's so many people that would be able to do this better on YouTube yeah. than me. So like, yeah, just Google it and um, don't be gentle on your wrists. I know that that's one thing, definitely. And always this warm them one. up. Yeah, that's the biggest one for me is this like one. warming them up before I start doing exercises is like the biggest thing. If I start trying to just do like handstands right away without warming up and stretching my wrists, then it's so much harder than if I do. Okay, what else is there? This is really oh. exciting. Whew. So I knew these guys were going to send these. These are... Peanut butter jams, was that the company? Peanut butter jams. Peanut butter jams, yeah. so there'll be a link down below. Uh, vegan friendly Bluetooth headphones. So let's, oh. A little bit. I never get anything this nice with a window in it like that. Ooh. Cool. Oh Thanks. yeah, they're wireless. Oh yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah, they're definitely wireless. Can we open it or? I don't want this to be like a 35 minute vlog. So thank you, you guys will see those in uh, like my stories and stuff like that. You'll see me wearing them in my videos, I'm sure. That's really cool. I've never had wireless headphones like that before. Okay, cool, cool. This is from Natural Nate on Instagram and his partner, Queen of Veggies. Holla at both of them. They're both awesome people. We like them. We love their posts. Oh, That's what? cool. Sent me a, it's really nice shirt. It's really soft. So good. Oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. There's other little treats in here. All right, I can get into this. Ooh, they're hefty. Thanks so much, man. Planet Protein Peanut Butter Cup. Oh, man. Let's get into this one right okay, now. Uh, oh, they're vegan. They know what's good. No, are you ladies first. Mmm. -hmm. I don't think you can go wrong with peanut butter chocolate. Oh, yeah. Or peanut butter cup. Yeah, a little chocolate. Oh, yeah. There. Extra protein. Extra protein. This one Derek picked up today, so I actually don't know what's in this. From Doug, owner of the Juice Mafia. Wow. I don't, that's such a sweet name, Juice Mafia. Thanks, Doug. The only juice I'm on is cold bread. No way. That's <laughs> so good. That's amazing. Oh, that's cool. The only juice <laughs> I'm on is cold pressed. <laughs> We're gonna think of creative ways to use this bulgur for dinner. Awesome. See you guys then. All right, Crystal and I are gonna go to the pool in a few minutes, so I want to eat something before we go because we're not gonna be making that bulgur uh, and dinner until like after we go to the pool, so a couple hours from now. So I'm gonna make myself a couple open face sandwiches and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna put on them because they're gonna be delicious. So I'm not sure if I've made this sandwich on here before, but I'm gonna be combining peanut butter and tahini. I know it sounds like a weird combination, but trust me, it goes really, really well together. And then I'll add some cinnamon in there as well, and then I'll top it with a couple of dates. And you guys are always asking me, what kind of bread do I use when I use bread? So this is actually like a sprouted whole wheat bread. Um, it's that Silver Hill stuff.
So once you've got that spread on there nicely, you just want to like smush these dates and kind of flatten them out. You'll need about one date per side. So there it is. I sprinkled some pumpkin seeds on the top to finish it off, but yeah, this is one of like my favorite go-to sort of small lunches if I need something. Oh crap. Anyways, you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you've ever tried this or what you guys think of it when you do try it, because trust me, I think you'll be surprised. It's super good. All right, I'm gonna finish eating these, and then Crystal and I are gonna go for the swim. So I'm not gonna bring you guys with me swimming because they don't like cameras at the pool, apparently. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys back here in the kitchen when we get back, and we'll figure out what we're gonna do with this bulger. Two hours later. All right, we just got back from the pool, and swimming was fun. I'm tired. We're gonna have to make dinner now. We should have done this before. We're gonna make that bulgur we eat, right? We had to look up how to make it because it's not English on the package. Uh, one of the cool things about food being sent to you from somewhere around the world. Like Luxembourg, that's where. One and a half cups to three cups. So yeah, a cup to two cups. Yes. Yeah. So one cup, <laughs> one cup of bulgur to two cups of water. Yes. <laughs> Bring it to a boil. And then you cover it, you reduce the heat, and then you simmer it for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm clearly reading off the laptop I know. right now. Uh, but it says on this little package that you can cook it in plus or minus 8 minutes. That's a, But look, it looks like a pressure cooker on Yeah, it. I think it's a pressure cooker, so we'll cook it for a little bit longer. So we're going to get that cooking, and then we're going to chop up a bunch of veggies, yeah. make like a stir fry, and we're going to have some greens with it as well, and then I may make a salad dressing. So we'll get that started and show you guys along the way. I also want to say something. What? The other thing about bulgur is it mm. does have gluten in it. So yes. if you have uh, celiac disease or you don't eat gluten, probably not the grain for you. Yeah. All right, let's get cooking this and then um, we'll show you guys Derek's, some of the process. Derek's very hungry. I am, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're just like, let's get this going. I made this before we went swimming. It's a huge raw salad. So I have a huge salad with tons of raw veggies. Um, as the base of my meals. There's a piece of paper towel over this and you guys are probably like, what is in that bowl? <laughs> Secrets out. <laughs> Crystal eats salads. <laughs> Secrets out. Crystal just eats salads. So we are gonna make a black bean stir fry. Yeah. The onions are making dirt. The onions fry. have got to me. These are kind of yeah, sketchy, eh? It's sketchy. Like, look at this can. Like, our, the, our local store just started getting these in. Man, my eyes are bugging from those. <laughs> And they're uh, two for three dollars, so they're only $1.50 each, which is good. They're organic, but like the packaging looks like it's from like the 70s. Or yeah, the 60s it looks. Or no, at least the 80s. Uh. Get some black beans in there, some frozen peas. Check on the bulgur. It's looking so good. It smells good. So everything's coming along really well. The buckwheat smells really good, so I'm excited to try it. We wanted to cook it up plain the first time so that I kind of knew what it tastes like, but I am gonna make a quick dressing for everything right now, and I'm gonna show you guys everything I put in there because it's like such a simple go-to salad dressing that it's like you almost always, at least I do, I almost always have all these ingredients on hand so I can just whip this up anytime, so I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, oh it smells so good. It's spicy. But... <laughs> so here's everything that's going into the salad dressing I'm gonna make. I'm gonna cut up this orange pepper, this 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. It's really good multi-spice seasoning, but you can put any seasoning you want in this. Some mustard, a bit of avocado. This helps it thicken. A little bit of sea salt and a bit of apple cider vinegar <laughs> from the world's biggest apple cider vinegar container. Don't ask questions. Oh, and I forgot one ingredient. You gotta have the sweet when you make a salad dressing or any. I can't believe we almost there. forgot. What is our problem? I know, so I'm gonna put an extra date in there just for forgetting. <laughs> Two dates. So it's basically just a red pepper smoothie or an orange pepper smoothie. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add a bit of water as the base. Don't add too much, because as I always tell you guys, you can add more water, but you can't take it out of a recipe. I've learned that the hard way. Okay, blend. 
All right, it's all blended up. Let's try it. It's good. Try it. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. So we're gonna do a little taste test here with the bulgur. I've, I've had it before, probably in uh, Kabuli, Middle Eastern dish, but I can't recall what it tastes like. I've never had it on its own. I like the consistency of it. It's like a bunch of little granular Wheaties. Mmm. Tastes good. Tastes like oats, like um, steel cut oats or cracked oats or whatever. Like, you know those? Can you think of, like, when you taste it, can you think of, like, other what? recipes you Whoa, can put what it else? in? You could definitely go sweet with it. Like, you could make this as instead of oatmeal for sure. But, like, Something like a um, mushroom gravy or something with it would be really good. Mm. What about in like a chili or something? Because it has like a little bit of a texture. In a chili it would be really good. I'm hungry, I'm eating hot! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time for Crystal's reaction. Mmm! It does taste like, like seal cut oats or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tasty looking dinner right there. It didn't take long to throw together, maybe 25 minutes. So that was actually like, today was like super convenient meals. Like the first one, smoothie bowl, just blend up a bunch of stuff. Second one was just peanut butter and toast, basically. And then this didn't take long at all. Try it. Yeah. Okay. Again. Okay. A little bit of everything on there. Mmm. Really good. It's actually so good. Mmm. Let's eat. All right, so I think that's it for this vlog. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Well, hanging out with us. Crystal was in it quite a bit today. <laughs> Yours is bigger than mine. High volume, baby. Yeah, I know. I'll probably go back for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna take it away, Crystal? If you guys enjoyed watching us, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and comment below and tell us um, if there's anything else we should try, like how we tried bulgur today. Is there any other foods that you guys haven't seen us eat Mm -hmm. that maybe we should try because we're definitely missing out on some things because this is really good it's really good cool um, yeah next one killed it